we start with McKinney Lions and Coach Jeff Smith coming off a four and six campaign. Jeff, uh, of course, that was your first year as a head coach. What's the greatest lesson you can take from that season into this one? Oh, you know, I, I think um, as you're starting out and you're starting your program, you're trying to implement offenses, defenses, off seasons. You have new coaches coming into play, and um, you know, there's a lot of newness and uh, there's a lot of excitement, and there still is. I think coming into year two. Um, there's just a lot more um, of a consistency. There's a lot more of an understanding of what we're doing. Um, I think that um, as we prepare weekly, as we prepare over the summer, we just had a, uh, we all were on the same page. All the coaches, all the kids, um, we, we knew the expectation, we knew what we wanted to do. And, and so I think uh, just uh, some familiarity, you know, I, I think that that has always helped uh, as, as you start year two and, uh, in a program. And so we're really excited about it. Yeah, Jeff, you bring up the offseason. I know how much you liked how your team worked in both the spring and the summer. What did you see in fall camp this month? Um, you know, I, I thought that the kids came in in very good shape, um, and that, that goes back to offseason and summer uh, performance course and the things that we do in, in seven on seven. The kids came in, I think, in very good shape. They were very excited um, about the spring and what we accomplished in the spring and kind of where we were at um, uh, offensively and defensively. Um, I think that um, you know, as they came into camp, uh, they were very excited. You know, very excited about the opportunities that we had uh, this fall, and um, uh, to see where it takes us. You scrimmaged Denton on Friday. Uh, obviously, a positive result, 44 to 20. Uh, your team coming out on top. What's the biggest positive that you took uh, from last Friday night? I thought that the kids, um, again, uh, they came out ready to play when they were, you know, walking, you know, walking the indoor facility, and, and we were getting dressed. You could see that they were just chomping at the bit. They were excited, you know, and, and uh, we all were. We, we were tired of, of hitting on ourselves and, and doing things against ourselves. We were ready to see someone else. And, uh, but I, I think overall after that night, I think um, I was pleased with the execution uh, of, of scheme of what we asked them to do. Um, you know, it's just uh, it's a big difference between this year and last year as far as what they know and how they execute. And, and obviously we made mistakes in the scrimmage. but. Um, and we'll learn from those. But overall, I was really pleased with how the kids uh, ran the system and, and how they executed, and, you know, throwing the ball, catching the ball, playing defense, tackling. And, and uh, we'll continue to work on those things. But for the first scrimmage, we were pretty, pretty pleased with the execution. You have a few new faces at the skill positions on offense, but you have a very familiar face returning at quarterback. Robert mm -hmm. Sanborn, now a junior, started as a sophomore. How have you seen Robert mature this offseason heading into his junior year? Well, I think um, Robert's really grown mentally uh, and physically. Uh, he's worked really hard. I, a lot of people don't know it. After the, after the, the Highland Park game, he had broken both wrists and uh, had screws put in both, and, and uh, it was a small bone in both of his wrists. And so he was kind of out of commission, throwing the ball, lifting for, for you know, a couple of months. And, and he kind of he was ready to get back, you know, physically and, and mentally. But he did a lot of work on the mental side of the game. I think it really helped him stepping back and seeing things happening and, and uh, observing uh, because he couldn't do a whole lot. And then, obviously, when we got him going, um, he spent a lot of time um, – uh, with, with coaches, with, uh, you know, he, I know he worked with a guy on the side, um, Chuck Peterson, a little bit. Um, you know, he was in the weight room. He was a performance course. He studied video on his own. So he's really done a lot of the extra things. And I think from that you see him making decisions that he didn't make last year. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's seeing the game a lot more quickly than he did last year, and he's making really, really good decisions. So we're pleased with him, not just physically, but how he's progressed mentally. Robert's got new running mates in the backfield. Of course, last year you had such a steady performer in T.J. Tarver, Damian Willis as well when he was healthy. Right. And now you move your leading tackler from a year ago, Marquez Husband. He had a standout sophomore season at an outside linebacker position. But running back is his natural spot, and he'll be there as a, as a junior. Absolutely. You know, Marquez did a great job for us last, last year at, at linebacker. And, you know, he still knows linebackers, so just like TJ last year, I mean, if we need him, we, we can call on his number and we know that he'll jump over there and do a really good job for us to get a stop or whatever we need. We, we continue to keep him sharp at linebacker, but really with the, with the great backs that we had graduate, we really needed Marquez to come back over, you know, to his natural position and, and play the running back position. And, and uh, you know, he's really excited about it. Uh, he's, he has no real carries on the record books. and, and uh, He's excited about the opportunity to carry the ball and, and really help our football team. And uh, I think he's going to surprise a few people. You know, he's, he's, uh, 
he's got great balance, he's got great vision, and he's got a burst, and, and uh, real, you know, he brings kind of a defensive mentality, you know, to that running back position. He's very physical, and, and uh, he's hard-nosed, and so I, I'm excited to see what he's going to do for us this year. Another guy who brings a defensive mentality to offense will be Red Shannon, a two-year starter at corner. You're going to move him to your H spot, another running back, receiver, hybrid. What does Shannon do for you on offense? Well, you know, he's – He's a two-year letterman on defense, uh, and and uh, you know just like um, just like Marquez, I mean we're gonna he still factors in on the defensive side of the ball, and and we'll use him on that side of the ball. But you know we really needed an H, we really needed a guy that could step into that slide and really give us um, give us a guy that can catch the ball, that can run the ball, that's got some quickness. Um, and and uh, Red did that toward the end of the year, you know. Um, he stepped in and, and really caught a couple of passes against Highland Park and, and made some big plays for us. And, you know, if you've ever seen Red play basketball or, or anything that he does, I mean, he's a gamer. He's a competitor, and, and he hates to lose. He loves to win, and he's going to fight tooth and nail to get it done. And so, you know, those are the kind of guys we want on our team, and so we're really excited about having him in H. Jeff, your offensive line returns. Just one starter in Marshall Agin. He was your center late last year. You've moved him to left guard. How have you seen that group come together with some new faces? Well, you know, Marshall um, has done a really good job leading that unit. First of all, Marshall had one of the best off seasons that he's ever had as a player, and so really pleased with how he's doing leading that unit. Uh, we do have a lot of new faces. We've moved Joel Quinones over from defense to help us out a little bit. Uh, we've uh, Tom Ely as well as is kind of come from the defensive side to help us on offense, and we have some guys coming back: Will Tucker and uh, a couple sophomores, uh, and David Snowden and David Tachi, and, and so uh, and some other seniors that are pushing them. Riley Phillips. So it, it's uh, you know the scrimmage showed us a lot, and and um, that's a unit that we really need to come together, obviously, and form some consistency. Uh, we feel confident that we've got the guys to get it done. We've just got to find the right combination and, and really get them coached up. So uh, overall, that's, that's an area that, that we're going to be really watching and, and uh, trying to progress. Your defense made great strides every week last season, and I'm sure with such a complex scheme that you installed, a second year will bring about even greater improvement. How have they been able to take hold of that scheme and improve with your system? Uh, it's been pretty awesome to watch them uh, mentally, just understanding. I know when we started fall practices, you know, we picked up right where we left off in, at the end of spring. You know, we didn't start with the basics. I mean, we started with the, the new stuff and the stuff that we wanted to progress to, and, and they were picking it up day one really, really well. And so that really got us excited that the retention was there, that – uh, they understand. I think we've got a lot of, of good guys on that side of the ball that are excited about what we're doing. They believe in what we're doing. And um, Coach Hall's done a great job getting them lined up. And, and um, you know, obviously every week we're going to have a big task ahead of us. And uh, we want that defense to progress. Um, we're going to be young in spots on that side of the ball, but I think we're going to be athletic. And, and uh, they really do, you know, year two of the scheme, both sides of the ball, has, it should be a whole lot better, and we're excited about that. Yeah, you bring up the youth that you might feature on defense, especially in the front seven. You lost uh, some guys like Josh Spangler, Colin mm -hmm. Zabowski, Michael Snowden at middle linebacker. How has that group come along? They've come along real well. We've got, you know, really four to five linebackers that we work, um, and they're all juniors, and, and um, all physically can get the job done. Uh, they just need to play. They need reps, and uh, they've gotten them all spring long. Uh, we knew that those guys were going to be our guys, and they got, you know, reps – throughout the spring and in the scrimmage and did a good job for us and understand what we're asking to do up front. We'd have Elliot Parkman uh, back as well as Troy Taylor, who's really going to anchor our two defensive tackle positions. And defensive end, we have a sophomore in Kenan Samuel and, and um, Augustine Zavala at the other end and uh, other kids that will factor in. Uh, but, um, you know, we were pleased with what they did in the scrimmage and, and um, uh, they run hard to the football. and. The secondary, we feel like we have the most experience. You know, uh, we've returned very, two very good corners, uh, Jamani Ross Brown and, and JJ Johnson, uh, and then uh, Garrett Christensen at safety. Um, you know, he's he's a guy that played Friday night. So even though we're youthful in spots, many of those guys played last year and, and understand what it takes to play under the knots on Friday night. And and so um, it's it's a little uh, we're a little bit more mature than than the paper might say. And so that's exciting to us as coaches. Your first opponent on the schedule is Frisco, but really the main opponent 
all August has been the heat. I, the, the triple digits, we've heard about it. You, you've had to deal with it right. firsthand. How have you been able to work through that with your team? You know, um, first of all, you know, those kids are our number one priority in their health and safety. And I know uh, Coach Pratt and MISD does a really good job of setting forth some guidelines and, and really giving us ice and tents and things that we need to keep the kids safe. And, and so that makes a big difference to know that we're supported. We've got great trainers that really watch our kids, and we watch the heat index. And, we, you know, I keep in constant contact with those trainers to know what the temperature is and, and where we're at. And we have uh, certain policies where we, we're in shorts and pads or whatever it may be just to watch them. And so obviously the, the beginning of, of two days, we, were, we tried to double up in the morning and get our work done in the morning. And then as we got closer to school, we started doing the split afternoon times to get them used to that heat. And really, the other night at the scrimmage, the kids did really pretty good um, with the heat. Uh, and it was, we started at 7 o'clock, and, and it was pretty hot. So, uh, and our freshmen did a good job. So I think just phasing them in and, and just watching out for them and, and getting them used to it, um, it has been a good, a good thing. It will be a 7 o'clock start at Frisco ISD Memorial Stadium on Friday. Let's talk Frisco. This is a team that just missed out on the playoffs a year ago, much like your club. They seem to be improving under Vance Gibson as their numbers have returned. And what, have you, what strikes you about the Raccoons? Well, um, Vance and those guys do, uh, guys do a really, really good job over there. They're very well coached. You know that when you play a Vance Gibson coach team that, that um, they're going to do little things well and they're going to be well coached and their kids are going to play hard. And, and um, we know that um, they're changing schemes this year on offense to a, a wing tee. And uh, that's tricky. You don't see that very often. and so. Um, you know, we've got to be prepared for that uh, defensively. We've got to be prepared to stop that attack, and, and that's not usually when you face the spread week in, week out, a little tight end. But when you see the wing tee, that's something that you've really got to take time and prepare for. And, and that's what they plan on. You know, that's part of their, their philosophy is, is to, uh, to execute and chew that clock and play great defense and, and, and win a football game or two. And, and they'll win a lot this year. I really think that Frisco is a team to watch out for. Um, they have a lot of seniors. I think that's the one thing that really strikes me. I know this group of seniors is a group that he's had his eye on for a while um, and to mature, and now they're seniors. And so um, it's an experienced group, and uh, they're going to they're gonna be a test. Jeff, best of luck this week. We'll uh, see you very soon. Thanks very much, Ted. Jeff Smith, head coach of the McKinney Lions, 7 o'clock kick Friday night at Frisco ISD Memorial Stadium. Lions and Raccoons in Week 0.